The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Ricardo Crapaldi. I will be the moderator today. Welcome for our mega section and uh, the presentation of the gold age of FM is coming. A uh, industry revolution open space for increase of the service. This is one section from the world uh, that celebrated World FM Day, and then it's, it's live from Czech Republic by Andre Strup. Next slide, please. Uh, the, this is a presentation logistics. Uh, we don't have the polls today, but uh, the questions will please use the the. The, the part of the, the, the control panel that we have the questions in the control panel right there your questions and then we in the in the end of the presentation we are pass for the our uh, our our speaker uh, to to respond uh, this this is uh, this is sections we uh, uh, the PowerPoint and the the, the sections we recorder and we have we have then the handouts we have the copy of the uh, the presentation in PDF. You you can click and download it. Your participation is great appreciated. Please uh, put the questions in the in the, in the, in the control panel. Our we have the vision, the FMCC, uh, and the mission that we have. Next slide, please. And um, this is that the way uh, we can we can do for you. Uh, how we can help you? Uh, we have the ask uh, the expert uh, box that we have online in the question research. We have a final consult about location and expertise, and we, we, you can locate a speaker with us. The, we uh, you have all this in the, our uh, website. We this is our sponsors for the FMNCC. Next, next please. Well, as I said. We are celebrating the World FM Day. That's as we Western, but this is a mega section that is start is starting uh, Monday and will be until tomorrow. Next slide, please. This is the group. This is the group that we are working hard for to uh, to to make this this mega section and to celebrate the World FM Day to 2017. We have more than 35 sections in the world. This is an overview of the speakers. Next slide, please. Well, this is the speaker for today. This is Andre Strupp. It's a my fellow. It's a senior consultant and high consultant in Republic Czech. Uh, this is, he is a principal lecturer at the FM Institute. He is a secretary of FMCC. He's, uh, he's a member of uh, IFMA Europe at Zari Bird. He's a founder of IFMA and Czech Republic, and two times president of the IFMA Czech Republic. It's a honor chair of IFMA Czech Republic. It's, uh, he is too is a past vice president, vice chair of Euro FM. He is too a member of TC, ISO TC, and the TC 15. Uh, two to one and is OTC uh, for 41,000. Andres is with you now. Thank you, Ricardo, for introducing me. Uh, welcome, everybody. I am very glad that I have this opportunity to speak with you and to present you my ideas. We will speak much more about future. Uh, the future which is over a horizon of my life but anyway uh, we are now here to prepare it uh, to know about this and uh, because we uh, want to think about future we must also uh, a little go back to the history to understand uh, what was done and what will be done so this is maybe um, a little futuristic uh, presentation which i want to present you i will speak uh, about industrial revolution 
Uh, industrial revolution is something what everybody knows. Uh, it is very popular now to speak about uh, industrial revolution. If we will go to this, we will see that there is four main parameters which is uh, decided that something is changing. Uh, the first parameter, uh, it is information. Information, uh, each uh, this change of uh, the generation uh, of this industry revolution was a big change in the information part, but also in the economy, energy and material you will see that there was a huge changes between two generations of this industry evolutions. Uh, of course, another big step we will see in the, uh, in the um, transportation. And the last one is workforce. So how the workforce change in the time. If we will go to the first industrial revolution, if we will find that there was a printing. It was the first point which uh, prepared the first industrial revolution. We had a first book and the information was much easier because more people should be able to find this information. In the economy world, uh, there was a big change because they started the steam engine. And steam engine was uh, much, much uh, more powerful than only horses on the hands. And uh, the steam engine opened the world for transportation. And there was a first trains who was able to move a lot of material from one place to another one. And if you will go to workforce, uh, you saw that uh, the craft was changed to industry. A first industrial company came and the worker moves from the, uh, from the villages to the cities. Second industry revolution in the in information, we found it that there was a telegraph, telephone, radio, TV. It was big change. Immediately the information much, much better sharing. In the economy world, uh, there was a gas. Uh, we was able to find a really strong energy, uh, usable energy. And this energy was used mainly in the, in the engine bands, uh, produce first engine. Of course, things of this uh, started the transport of the cars, uh, the, the transport of the rails was much easier. And in, we will go to the workforce, we can see that the people was uh, starting with the line producing in the factories. So a uh, very important point was also electricity. Electric uh, came to the, to the system. Third, in for industrial revolution, we can uh, touch uh, by uh, internet. Internet was a very important point, uh, which really much, much grower. Uh, grow, uh, the, the, the information was very easy. Uh, you know, we can now discuss only thanks to the internet. In the economy uh, and uh, material, uh, you can see that the PCs uh, helped a lot of and changed completely the world. Uh, we, have, we are able to see first robots. Uh, there is a new sources of energy, uh, ecological energy. In the transportation uh, was huge, huge uh, developing. Uh, very speed railways, very uh, speed uh, airplanes and so on. And in the power, the uh, works power, we can see that uh, they're starting the devising to the experts. Suddenly we have an expert not for a complete solution, but we have an expert only for a little part of the, of the specialization. So it is very, very sophisticated experts and you now need much more people for one solution. And now is coming the new generation. What is the typical for the fourth industrial revolution, which is starting now? First of all, is a problem of big data. Uh, the connection and uh, technology and now brings opportunity to develop a lot of data and only uh, the persons and the companies and uh, the, 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 the entities which will be able to 
take the correct information for this big uh, possibilities of the big data, they will be uh, uh, somebody who will be able to develop something. In the economy, energy, material, uh, we are starting to speak about smart cities. Smart cities, we are, I will speak on the end, smart city is something what is a goal of our activity. We have a, another very special point, and it is that till today we have a big power stations which are producing the energy, and this energy is moving by the wires from one uh, point to another, and we are losing a lot of this energy only by this transportation. But we are no, we know that uh, energy will be able in future uh, produced da uh, directly on the place where where you will need it in your home, in your company, in your office, in your factory and the transportation will not be necessary and uh, of course uh, we will have, we will be able to save the energy and then it's completely change the world uh, there is also a new system i will speak about this it is a 3d printers 3d printers uh, will be able thanks to the very new material which is calling graphene graphene is on the atomic size able to print you any uh, product which you will need. Also, we will speak about this. In the transport, uh, we will lose uh, the necessity to have uh, our own car because the very smart system of the transport will uh, enable you to use uh, public transport which will bring you very quickly from one place to another place. Of course, the car will stay, but uh, not so huge number of car like it's today. And all this uh, bring the possibility that any robots and automatic and everything, that uh, this will uh, stay there uh, instead of people, a human. And the human will be free. And where will go the workforce? The workforce uh, will not stay in the in the place where they are because there will be robots, there will be automatic, there will be system, and these people will go where. So it will be maybe one topic of my presentation. So what's the way? We will have a people who will be fired. We will have a people who will out. So one possibility is a communist party. Communists have a very good solution. Everybody must be employed. So it will be as easy. We will employ everybody and uh, it will be very nice future. Yeah, we know it from, we are coming from the world when they tried it. And I am sure that it is not the solution. So the only solution for future is share. So if anybody have any idea, if anybody do that something, he will share it with the others. So uh, be sure that fourth industrial revolution will have one common one uh, one point of view which will be connected everything together and it will be sharing so sharing uh, it means that we will have an expert we will have a robots we'll, we will have this unemployed people maybe we can call it uh, we will share them together of course the sharing should looks very nice of course but uh, if we will go to the back, uh, Google was one of the first point of view when we started the uh, sharing of the knowledge, uh, the books, uh, very easy to read the books, thanks to sharing uh, via internet. We have the sharing photo and uh, social media. Uh, we have sharing the cars in our company. We have share offices, uh, share workplaces. Uh, we are able now to share, for example, equipment and tools for our work. In future, we will share the, uh, the, the instructions for our 3D printers. We will share energy, transport, know-how. Okay, this all we will share or we are sharing now. What is the uh, means in the in the system? If we will see to the producing part and consumer part, uh, just now we are about 90% of the product we are uh, producing in the factories, in the plants, and only about 10% is producing ourselves because we are able to produce it ourselves. In future, when, for example, 3D printers, but it will be not only 3D printers, there will be more equipment and tools which will help us. We will uh, produce 
maybe 30% only in this uh, plants. And we will then transport the product to the consumer. Uh, mostly in future, the consu consumer will product uh, prepared himself. Uh, product hit, uh, will be his own producing and it will completely change uh, the world. So if we will go to money, uh, just now the most part of profit is from the uh, producing of these things. We are producing car and sell it. We are producing clocks and sell it. So all this we can produ uh, produce and somebody will transport it through business nets to the consumer. Then the consumer uh, pay the money and this money are dividing to all this net. It is present, but it will rapidly change thanks to these new uh, possibilities because in the future the producing still stay in the world where nobody will be in future producing on the atomic level on the uh, micro and nano uh, world uh, there will be still a lot of uh, products which will be not able to produce it by the consumer but there will be much uh, larger world of uh, profit from the knowledge the knowledge will be really something what will be profitable and of course services so the services uh, will be something what will be much more uh, profitable than it is today. If we will go to back to the history, and if we will go to first uh, services, if I told that services is something what is future, so first services we can check in the in the Egypt where was a slaves or in the this uh, this type of regime. The, the slaves uh, was working for the, uh, the for the rich people and do very cheap services. Later, the same services was made by vassals, and vassals also made it very cheap. Uh, later came the industrial in the uh, industrial time uh, bring uh, the services to the very margin side the services was something what was not mentioned too much because the product was on the center producing 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 and services was a uh, 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 margin uh, size of the processes then came facility management and facility management bring uh, the topic services back uh, to the to the platform they say okay uh, we are here and we want to manage that our services will be much better that our services are so important as uh, the services uh, as the producing and other so uh, this was very important point for us because it was the starting of our profession I will use uh, the, the very nice uh, slide of Fred Clute uh, from EuroFM presentation 2011. He uh, presented here history. He told, yes, fair processes uh, was mainly uh, in-sourced services. Uh, it was a really margin. Uh, uh, the services later, later started to be uh, selected and uh, started to be purchased uh, as a single services the single services later started to be grouped to multi-services and just now is very modern integrated facility management it is a present time what we have now but what will be in future we will share the services together with core uh, core service later i will show you and then uh, the services started to be more and more profitable so uh, the the price of the services will increase because products started to be cheaper and cheaper and in future is a, a new world of work i can't imagine really how it is it will be on my uh, daughter and granddaughters and and so uh, so <laughs> if i will go back uh, complex process assurance uh, was divided uh, to core business and support services, which is a topic for our facility management. In future, in the profit-oriented services, the core processes and support services will join together, but in this time, the support services will have a, a really correct acceptation, not 
as before. So the support services will be in the same Sometimes I, th I think that in future may be very important position uh, with the compare with core business. If you will see uh, here is cupping starting the uh, word of robot. Uh, we will in future have a very strong word of sharing of knowledge and everything. Uh, we will have a chip in our body and everything. And in future, our goal is smart world. Smart world, we are now speaking about smart cities and so, and it is something what will be in global. And I will tell you in future what I mean is smart. We can, we can imagine it on the reconstruction of the state in the crisis. I will give you an example. If you go back, so the crisis in a time of, uh, Margaret Thatcher in Great Britain, uh, she decided completely uh, reconstruct the system. They stopped a lot of heavy industry and uh, there was a uh, miners, there was uh, uh, employees from the, from the steel uh, uh, industry and there was fight out and they had to find for them any solution. And what they done, they was employed in the services and in uh, English speaking country, the same as US, the facility management is accepted as a very important profession, uh, may be equal to the producing profession. In the social uh, solutions, like a social countries, countries oriented to the social, uh, was uh, two, two way. One, it was a social countries which has a long, long history. For example, it is a European Nordic countries. Then it is okay, it is going uh, back uh, to the solution like uh, Mrs. Thatcher. But if you are going to other countries which are from the post communist time, the state aid against unemployment. They try to solve. Sol um, uh, to, to uh, result uh, the, the, the problem that they will only support, support the companies, that they will not fire their employees. And what it mean? These companies start to be less and less uh, power. And finally, the people will be unemployed anyway, but facility management is stagnation. So <clears throat> this is the solutions which are in these two words, which we can uh, call a uh, developed word. But we have also uh, developing countries uh, where the very low labor cost presented that services are very cheap. And this is very difficult. We can't wait that, there, they, that these countries will go through all these steps like uh, our countries. So I think that here uh, the jump to industry 4.0 is only solutions. We can see it in the uh, example of China. Uh, uh, the lot of uh, products and a lot of uh, factories moved to China a couple years ago. And uh, a lot of industries in uh, developed countries uh, was canceled, uh, stopped, because the very cheap uh, power in the in the china produce it very cheap solutions but now when the china try to keep the same uh, level as the developed countries uh, these factories are going back uh, to the uh, to the developed countries uh, because the this step is not so easy and the other country which will follow the same way like china will jump over this directly to the to the fourth industry revolution so what is the future if we will go to the economy parameters the we must speak about productivity if we will we are speaking a lot of about robotic automatization so it's mean that uh, the, the producing of a new product or services or something what will be done by robots will be much more uh, productive and the people will not be employed in this area. This means that decrease the salaries because the people will not be employed. And there are two possibilities. One possibility is that we will give the tax for a robot work. It's a completely stupid solution. Maybe somebody will find some, some tool how to make it, but I think that it is very, very difficult how to count the taxes from the robotic 
products. So the only way is that the 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 ranking of the human work which will be higher. So our wages will go out uh, up, and everybody who, who will stay in the human position uh, producing that they will do something, they will be much better. Uh, uh, ranking that it is today. So it is economic parameter. If we are go to social parameter, uh, robots will be integral part of our environment. But uh, tell uh, everybody, robot services will never have a human approach. So uh, we 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 can't lose the 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 feeling that we have around us uh, humans, because if you can imagine that you will stay in the group of robots how do you feel uh, so this is uh, this is uh, this parameter in technical parameter if you will see for example now uh, uh, to internet of things here is a very nice graph uh, in this graphic uh, view you see each five year how increased the number of uh, the equipments which was uh, joined and connected with uh, the internet of things and if I will uh, help you, this is a today number of how many things we have now joined or connected to the internet. It is 28.4 billion things. So it's a huge number. And if you see that in the year 2020, it will be doubled. So it's, it's, it's human, it's huge. If we are going to the public and if we go to government and, and municipal officials will not be only replaced by the robots. It is not possible that we will go to the office and there will be sitting robots behind the tables. Uh, of course, a lot of uh, activities in this area uh, will be automatized. Later, I will have one example. But what will be a very big uh, step which is in front of us is e-government. It will be very important, uh, e-government, uh, there are some countries which have very developed e-government, uh, other countries are starting and looking for solution. But e-government is the way how will be in future communicate the, uh, the public sector uh, with the private sector. Never mind it is a person or it is a company. And it will be big change for everybody because each person will have to learn how to identify himself as a as a as a one person, how identify the, is, uh, itself in the company, or uh, how uh, communicate with the uh, with the public sector. So uh, for this, it's very important to reduce the bureaucracy. Uh, it's no discussion because bureaucracy uh, should kill it. If we will go to the labor market, there are some studies that about 4% of professions completely disappear. About 80% of this, uh, of this professions will be, uh, we call it cheap professions, uh, cleaners, uh, security. The, this is a service, uh, this is very cheap uh, professions which have not very big wages, and most of them will be really changed by, by, by robots. Of course, not completely. If I will tell security, it's not mean that all security persons will be changed by uh, robots because there are some parts where can't be changed. Uh, there is uh, information that 15 percent or uh, of a percent of the labor market of the professions will completely change. That will be different, like today. Of course, there will be professions like ICT, computers, uh, robotics, services, which will grow in future. And I mentioned sometimes smart cities. It's a very, very frequent uh, word today. What is smart cities? A lot of people uh, connect smart cities with the internet, with uh, intelligent uh, things. Uh, but smart cities, it's for me smart management by smart managers, supported by smart things. So not the things itself, intelligent things, uh, which is connected and doing a lot of things like automatization building or automatization transport. 
it is not itself uh, the smart city. Smart city will be uh, will be connected uh, with the smart person on the smart management system. So I told that uh, new ideas, uh, sharing, uh, robotics, and new systems will will increase unemployment. And as I mentioned again a couple of slides before. Uh, we must find the solution like uh, Margaret Thatcher presented uh, in the UK in the last century. So these people must look for their solution. They must go to the services. They must find the best uh, possibility how increase quality of services. These services will much better support the core business employees. These employees will be more productive, so there will be necessarily less employees in the core business, and the rest of this, uh, which will be not necessary in future, will move back to services, and we will grow the services area. So this is a space for facility management. <clears throat> because its facility management will be ready and prepared for this boom then we will be ready to really help to this world to uh, to increase uh, the quality of life so now i prepared a few examples that is not so easy how i told it for example uh, there are some examples in the law that uh, there have uh, some ideas how to automatized uh, the process of the court. Uh, decision of uh, offenses can be automated. Yes, it can, if you will go very quickly by car and you will be over the speed, limited speed, you can get automatic from any, any automat, you can get the penalty and uh, maybe in future it will be automated count from your, from your account. But if, you, if it is really a complicated uh, solution, we need empathy. And uh, the judger has an empathy. They had feeling which no automat and no robot uh, is able to support. Uh, in London, and now it is not only in London, there are some bars where is a uh, staying robot and uh, preparing the drinks for you. Of course, you will get the drink that you be sure that there will be everything in the milliliter of what you want and what you want to get. It will be excellent product for drinking. But can you discuss with robot about your problem? So <clears throat> I like the idea. They told, yes, we didn't fire uh, the, the barman because the barman is still there. And he is there because he or she is speaking with the people, uh, is sharing the ideas, is speaking and, and and joking, and robot is doing the drinks. So this is maybe solution for future. Uh, you know the Uber. Uber is a solution which is typical solution for next uh, first uh, industry revolution. The sharing the somebody decided that anyone who want to join to this share net can offer the transport of course now it is huge uh, activity in the countries in our city in prague is uber in all other uh, most uh, czech uh, republic uh, cities are uber possibilities but if you are going to us you see that uber is now testing the car without the driver automatic car and so what does mean in future there will be not necessary driver and driver will be fired again what this driver will do he will be free for other services so if i am going and closing it together FM in future will have a less and less technology what we now have a feeling that facility management is about care about building of course, it will be necessary, but more a uh, more uh, point in the building will be automatized or will be not necessary to maintain because it is a life lifelong uh, produce. Uh, so, more and more important for facility management will be human touch of service. So uh, we are also uh, calling as a profession who uh, is human to human human to human industry 
So service, service is more and more about empathy. And we must uh, understand that we are not the repair of the equipment. Uh, we are a supporter of human. So for me, it's only one question. What will be? If industrial revolution, I don't. Know. Ricardo. Okay, thank you, Andre. It's uh, it's a great uh, great overview and great points, and thank you very much to share with us. Uh, let's let's see. My we, pleasure. You, uh, thank you. Let's see it's, uh, if you have some question. Wait a minute, please. If you want of to, course. of course. Uh, if you want to to make a question, please write in the in the box in the control panel. Okay. Let's wait for some moments. Uh, until, uh, until the, the, the people right here, Andre, uh, Andre, I have a question. Uh, is is the future for FM? It's uh, it's more important uh, to be aware the FM to be aware what is happening in the world, or to be updated in the knowledge and to know more things, or to make uh, to do uh, more multi tasks than that we have today what's your opinion about this future so i will i will try to 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 see it uh, i i don't see this question uh, again the, the question was if it is more multitask uh, multitask uh, solution facility management i didn't understand it clearly yes yes it's a or the, the uh, we will need in the future in your vision uh, to be more multitask uh, uh, function and uh, or we need yeah. to we need to be more uh, more expert in more points. I, I think that uh, I think that, uh, that facility management uh, is going more and more to be a umbrella of the services of the support of our clients. So if we will, if we thinking that we are umbrella. Uh, we, we, we are joining together the very different services. If I am presenting it to my colleagues or students, I am, I am explaining uh, a really facility manager, uh, which is in the strategy position, don't know detailly all services, but he must know that all the services is able to support. That there is no service that facility manager is not able to manage. It does not mean that he must do this or that his uh, employment must do this. He can find some uh, some supporter who will uh, who will help him. But uh, for client, he must be a person who present. Uh, you are my uh, clear background, which is sure, and that I I must uh, be. I, I am sure that uh, nobody will happen because you will care about me. So this means that uh, in this way, the facility management in future is a really multitask uh, discipline, uh, joining together the the hard, technical, and the soft uh, human uh, and organization services. It is a, a system which uh, is presented by European facility management. Uh, I know that in the global management is a facility much, much more oriented to the space and building, but it is uh, it is joining together. We can we cannot tell that uh, one uh, system or second system is a different. Both these have uh, advantages and disadvantages, and I. I'm presenting, for example, if we are discussing if there is a property management, asset management, facility management, I'm explaining it is very easy. 
if our client something need uh, he is not uh, telling that he need asset he need property he need uh, facility he need solution and it's never mind how it is calling and our facility management will bring together a lot of services and if there will be somebody who will tell no i will do asset management i want to care only about asset manage okay he can do this but if he will tell uh, in this asset management we want included facility okay then we will go there if somebody other they will tell we will want to include assets to facility okay we were ready to cover everything so it is not the question if it call facility management or asset or property or a real estate or uh, this is everything management this is only names and for us it's important that we must be ready to support the services never mind which one only what what is key and it is a support services so uh, in future if you show in my presentation we will join with the core business services so core business services is for example or airport you have the service which service directly the airplanes who support it in the plant it is a service of the producing machines and in future these two lines will join again to one system because it is no sense that one company uh, repair the ventilator in one part of the factory and the second company on second part because it is one producing and second is also only building it's completely nonsense but for future uh, service will be very important because the producing will be more and more produced by the automatic robotic and so and the services will be really this multi task uh, area okay yes. uh, okay thank you thank you andresha uh, uh, understand and uh, only one more uh, more our, our view about this is this is speak is that uh, uh, for facility management uh, in the future the the IT tasks uh, with the uh, with the the new technologies will be the key for a uh, best a uh, best operation in the, in the sites no. Uh I'm sure, I'm sure, but uh, but uh, you 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 see today that IT is also um, diversified. Uh, the, there is a part which is a, a core business uh, systems like SAP or uh, or Oracle, uh, and of course it is absolutely just now no task of facility. And then is a part which should be facility. It is care about the offices, about the computer PCs, printers. Uh, and, and so this is a mobile phone. Uh, this is a point uh, which is now a possible topic of the facility management support. But in future, again, it will join together because uh, the, the, this different. You see now how it is big different if you have a company who has a SAP system, SAP system for a core business, and they don't want too much implement. It's a CFM system because they think that it is not so important. And to join these two systems together is uh, sometimes complicated. Uh, you have a double data, and uh, it's only uh, produce a new, a new big data. And for future, we must join it together. So uh, IT is the same example, and of course, IT is a, pro a profession which will grow very quickly because technology, IT. But be careful; a lot of activities in future will be automatized. Yeah, and we are on the stage that uh, less and less people in future will be employed in this part because a lot of automatic—I can't say robots, but automatic—will. Uh, will produce part of this uh, IT uh, uh, product and the people will go back to services. Okay. Ricardo? Okay, thank you. Well, uh, we don't... Oh, yes. There is a question. Uh, so you expect women will be better FM managers since they are easier and more productive and multitask environment. But ICT is more served uh, by men environment. This question by Milan or uh, my colleague from Czech. Uh, maybe he can tell me. Then in Czech language, it will be easier. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 
he, he speaks about the service of ICT. If you have a, a person who are serving your computer, who is preparing for you a product uh, like a new program, who are serving you if you have a problem with your PC and you need a help, yeah, it's correct. It is now uh, now very very man power uh, pres uh, pro um, uh, service and solution but in future uh, you, uh, Milan itself knows that uh, a lot of uh, uh, new uh, new programming uh, should be prepared by the blocks which is automated connected together so in future the the the, the, the development of the uh, programs uh, be, be partly developed by the automats not by robots by automats uh, the question of the of the service of the people of their um, IT solutions. Uh, just now, it's a typical that if you have 80% uh, of the problem with your ICT so, uh, environment, uh, the the colleague is coming and joining via internet from somewhere and uh, repair it. So. Uh, th this service is starting to be more and more productive. A uh, couple of years back, uh, the, the man had to go to the car and go to the workplace and uh, check the computer, uh, repair it. Now uh, they repair much more uh, e examples, tasks than before. And okay, again, uh, this is necessary less people than was before. Of course, there are much more computers, so it is uh, maybe 50-50. But uh, the, 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 the future is coming that more and more things will be uh, not necessarily produced by the person. I hope that I answered Milan. And if Milan, if I not answered correctly, uh, later I will uh, uh, explain you personally. <laughs> Thank you, Ricardo. Okay, okay. Uh, no more questions uh, now, but uh, please, if you want to uh, write, write to our speaker, there, uh, uh, Andre, uh, Mayo is in this slide. And uh, next slide, please. And if not, if, if you're not, uh, here is my email, uh, and uh, I am open to answer you through email, of course. Okay, thank you, Andre. Oh, uh, okay. It's a no, no, no. Okay, it's a message for Marcos. It's a happy World FM Day. It's okay. Uh, Marcos, Marcos is uh, is telling to everybody, Happy World FM Day, uh, from Marcos, and I think that uh, I want to say the same. Uh, happy World uh, from me too, uh, and not only only for facility managers. I think for all. Yes, Thank uh, you, Ricardo. everybody that's involved in the in the, uh, this area is great area. Well, thank you, thank you, Andres, again. And please, next slide. Okay, this is our next next uh, sections. The next will be back of risks in FM business, also reinducers and service provider managers. Uh, this is speaker will be uh, Ricardo Crepaldi and Flavio Guerreiros. Uh, the, from Brazil, and the, uh, the the other is from Belgium. It's a day in the life that the digital workplace, new experience enabled by connected things, and the other will be uh, from uh, from German, and then the Netherlands, asset document control, the underestimated low handing for it, maximize our benefits through the effective document collaboration. Uh, we, we you can see the uh, all the pre, uh, all the next uh, next next sections in the our web page well we we can uh, you can be tuned with our uh, fmcc uh, application mobile application and you can uh, we have the uh, F, uh, fmcc application to uh, iphone platform and android platform next slide please well, FMCC Stag always are looking for uh, uh, for volunteers. Can be volunteers to webinar presenter, white paper author, and podcast pressman. And if you want this, if you or we want to to help us and be a coordinator, supporter, or social media activist, please write to me. It's my email in 
uh, and ricardo.correquality23 of gmail.com. Please feel free to, to, to ask me and write me. Next slide, please. This is our, our, the IFA umbrella with all the councils and communities that we have uh, nowadays. Uh, feel free to join us and, and participate in this great uh, association. Next slide, please. Well, thank you everyone to join us today in, the, in this speaking. Happy World FM Day and, uh, and thank you, Andres, for your great pre uh, presentation. My pleasure and uh, goodbye and have a have a nice day. Okay, goodbye.